The community came together in Rancho Palos Verdes to celebrate the official reopening of Abalone Cove Shoreline Park. The spectacular coastal park underwent many improvements after receiving a major grant. Liz Brown Swanson joins us from Abalone Cove with the story. Liz. Maria, I am here at the newly renovated Abalone Cove Shoreline Park on a very gorgeous day. The community has come together to celebrate all that's here. Let's check it out. Two, three. Oh. Yay! Woo! It's, it's what I had hopefully envisioned for a long time. There was a, uh, another proposal for a larger museum style structure here. And uh, I believe that this environment should stay as natural as possible for people to experience it. As I mentioned earlier, it's like to me like a plein air painting. You enjoy it for what it is. You can take a photocopy of it, take it out, and you can teach people how plein air painting's done, and that's great. But the painting itself needs to remain in its natural form for everybody to enjoy. Conservancy was involved in the planning of the park, and we provided some of the native plants for the park. The city actually applied for the grant and the city did the construction for the park. For us, this is a place for people to come and get introduced to the broader preserve and to the, the uh, Abalone Cove Marine Preserve. Uh, this is really set in the heart of the Portuguese Bend Nature Preserve. And as we all know, the Portuguese Bend Nature Preserve is really the, really the, the touchstone of uh, our activities on the peninsula. You got to oversee the ribbon cutting and welcome everyone today. What was your message about what's happening here? Well, I think the message is that there is something happening here because for the longest time, Abalone Cove Shoreline Park was just basically an empty field. There really wasn't a lot going on. Everything was down at the shoreline where the tide pools are, and, and rightly so. It's an amazing attraction, but we hadn't done any significant improvements to this park since the early 1990s, so it was long overdue, and now with all these beautiful improvements in place, it really looks like a park. I like going to this park because I like all the kites around, and like you get to do all these fun, you, like you can run around the whole park, you can like look next to the ocean and like fly, like just like be free. It's so beautiful and you came here with your mom who's helping do art activities today. What do you have going on, Lauren? Hi, good morning. We are from Art to Grow On Children's Art Center and we offer, um, today we're doing a walk and draw workshop where we take the children out and we look at shape and color and design. And we also have a tree block building station and then a free drawing station. So it's been a great day. It's a wonderful time, <laughs> like always, you know, and being here at the park and being here with this uh, view, um, it can't be beat. Of course, you came with the Portuguese Bend Artist Colony. Talk about what you do and, and being here. Well, originally the colony formed uh, because it was a group of us that grew up together here on the hill and loved the area. And we wanted to paint and preserve uh, through the art uh, images that we grew up with as children. And we wanted to preserve it for the, pa for the next generation. And so, and so this is just a, another extension of our passion of saving the open space and sharing it with the whole community. Oh, it's, it's going great. We are doing what we do. This is everybody's favorite park. It's certainly the docent's favorite park. And uh, we have a group here showing off uh, the large fabric whale on the ground represent, representing the whales that will be swimming past the front of the cliffs in uh, another couple of months. We have another group with a table about uh, how you too can join Los Serenos and become a docent. It's just uh, it's a wonderful park, wonderful, wonderful views. Um, the trails, the outlooks, uh, you know, all the improvements, it's, it really highlights, um, it kind of connects everything from the park and the preserve. It gives you a, a, a lot of different avenues to explore nature and get out and have a lot of fun. We'd like to keep expanding is from a standpoint of what is currently out here now, such as the trails. We'd like to do a little bit more connectivity, uh, maybe expand the, the landscape and irrigation a little bit more, and uh, potentially, and that will just bring more uh, benches and more passive elements of the park. And of course, the parking lot's been renovated, so it goes on. What's, what was able to be accomplished? How much did they spend to do this project? I think it was roughly about a million dollars between the two different grants that were received. Uh, there were two different projects, but uh, we really treated them as one to, to get it all done. Uh, the, one of the bigger things in the, uh, associated with the building in the, in, the, in the staff office was we now have an automated gate there. Uh, so folks will be able to come in, take a ticket, 
arm will open, they'll go park, come back and pay. Um, but that enables our staff to get out of the office and come out here, do some environmental education, make some more public contact and just have a good presence. And a big congratulations to the city of RPV, the Land Conservancy and all the organizations that came together to make such a wonderful celebration. Beautiful improvements here for the community to enjoy. If you want to come to Abalone Cove Shoreline Park, the parking lot is open daily from noon to four and on weekends nine to six. Hope to see you here. Back to you, Maria, in the studio.